San Diego Mayor Kevin Faulkner's first 100 days in office comes up next week. So how is he doing? Well, the early signs confirm he remains focused on implementing promises made during the campaign. Here's a progress report tonight from KUSI Steve Bosch in the newsroom. Steve? Sandra, there is not a whole lot a new mayor can accomplish in the first 100 days, but Faulkner, with council approval, is already implementing some of his administration's priorities. In between his ceremonial duties, like proclaiming Tony Hawk Day in San Diego at the skateboard park in OB, this mayor is bent on restoring the city's image and voter confidence. My message is that we are back, we are open for business, uh, and we're moving forward. A not-so-subtle reference to former Mayor Bob Filner, whose partisan tactics brought the city to a standstill. And we saw all of the, uh, the drama, for lack of a better word, that happened last year. Uh, you know, we do great things in the city when we work together. And we're going to agree on a lot more than we're going to disagree on. Political consultant John Dadian says you are seeing a nonpartisan politician who's living up to his campaign promises. Literally, his character and his personality is the opposite of his predecessor. The predecessor divided. He's actually united. He, he has said that he wants to work across the aisle with all the other council members. We're seeing that happening. Faulkner ran a campaign of inclusiveness, everybody having an opportunity to get involved. He adopted the concerns of the neighborhoods, and he's gone back to those neighborhoods as mayor. Some of the best ideas of how to fix City Hall come from out in our neighborhoods. So I've done seven of the nine council districts, got the final two coming up in the next couple weeks. And he wasted no time on acting on those concerns of the neighborhoods. With a focus on getting, continuing to get our city back on track, my focus on public safety, new police chief, uh, more dollars for new hof hires, officers that we're going to hire, retaining the ones that we have. In dollars for infrastructure, street repair, street repair, street repair. This is a guy who doesn't need any on-the-job training. You know, he already knows how the wheels turn, you know, how it needs to be played. It's not about partisanship. It's about providing the leadership to accomplish these objectives. Supporting small business and growing new businesses are also priorities. I'm going to support policies that do that and stand up against policies that don't do that. The first test of voter confidence in this new mayor will come at next week's primary. He is urging a no vote on Propositions B and C. Now, those propositions are the Barrio Logan Community Plan update, where business and labor have clashed over jobs versus housing. Now, the city council voted for housing. The business community collected enough signatures to let that go to the voters. Steve Bosch, KUSI News.